everyone, Mango7 Roll here. How are we doing today? Welcome to another episode of Aloon. Today we're going to be taking a look at the new unit just added. I hope she's added. There she is. There she is. Our new unit, which is going to be Rachel. And let's go take a look at her very quickly before we go summoning. We still don't have Alvita. That would be an okay summon, by the way. She is our second... Okay, that was really cool. That was super cool. I've not actually seen this yet, so um, that's awesome. So she is our second legendary tank. Um, I just want to take a look at her skills because I have not read them. They definitely gave me like spoiler versions of it ahead of time, but I'm a, I'm a terrible person and didn't actually uh, look at them then because I wanted to see them in game first. So let me hide my face for a second. Actually, let me let me move my face. My face can be moved over here. And let's take a look at some of these abilities. So first one is fire an arrow at her crossbow or using her crossbow to an enemy's single target damage. Um, yep, her special is fills her pavis. How do you spell pavis? With mana and holds it up to begin channeling for two turns. During channeling, she reduces the damage received by 10% and distributes single target damage dealt to any ally in Rachel's row evenly among all allies in that row when the channeling ends fire her crossbow to deal a bunch of damage to an enemy interesting interesting um and her ultimate hidden demise scratches the earth to channel the energy of the earth into a bolt and then fires it dealing 160 plus physical damage to an enemy and deals additional damage equal to 30 percent of the enemy's existing hp the amount of the additional damage cannot exceed 200% of Rachel's attack. Um, her passive uh, reduces damage received by 20% for all allies deployed in the same row. Okay, that's really cool. So it seems like she's going to be built to be like a tanky DPS with a bunch of other tanks in the in the front line or back line. I'm not sure. Um, although Rachel uses a crossbow instead of a traditional bow to her lack of strength, her innate Alarian elf instincts are still sharp. Okay, deals 100%. Oh, I was like, what's going on? Um, deals a bunch of damage, additional uh, damage upon each attack. Um, rules of the battlefield. This is like really cool, by the way. I really like how they explain their skills. I think thematic skills are really important in gacha games. It gives characters a lot of life and feeling to me. Um, rules the battlefield with the latest weapons born from Illyrian and human craftsmanship. Rachel's attacks never miss uh, when she is attacked by an enemy. Returns 20% of the damage back to the enemy. Okay, that's cool. She's got like a, a return fire. I really like that. She's really, really cool looking. So let's take a look at some abilities here. Oh no, her death is so sad. Let's see her joyful instead. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. So let's just see what her skills are. I I've never actually seen the animations yet. So her skill one... Just a single crossbow. Let's max them out because we, we need them maxed out. Gotta have them maxed out. Uh, skill two. Oh. That was really quick. Um, let me actually... Let me turn the speed down a little so we can actually see it here. So cool. And let's redo her second skill. I like how she's a tank, but she's not actually a tank. That's really cool. Really, really cool. Okay, let's do some summons for her. Um, as always for their summon events, uh, during summon days, you want to go up into the top here into the chat window. Um, and you want to join channel 777. Or is there four sevens? I can never remember. I can never remember. Is it 777 or 7777? Uh, let me check. Let me check here. It looks, it's looking pretty good. Yeah, 777, perfect. Okay, so let's do some summons. We've got enough to hit the pity, so we're guaranteed to get her. Um, but it would be nice to get more than one because we have 6,300 of 9,000. We've got a 10 plus one. And we want to hit that guaranteed five-star Rachel. So that's for sure happening. Um, let's just get on with it. That's a legendary. I can tell by... I know that leg any day of the week. 
Any day of the week, I know that lag. Um, so please just not Balder or Bones. <laughs> this really all I ask for is like not Balder or Bones or Rep actually. Um, or Kang. There's a lot I don't want actually. Ooh, five star too. Nice. That's nice getting a five star epic that saves me uh, quite a bit. Okay. I've already got a five star max rev, but I guess I'll just keep getting them. I'll just keep getting them. It's fine. Um, let's keep going here. That's not a. That's not. I can feel that lag. So just quantity is what we want here. If we don't see legendaries, we just want um as many purples as possible. Ooh, double. Can we please? That's no legendary again. Another two. Uh, let's just open all here. Charlotte. And every single epic we get is going to be uh, fused as well. We don't care which ones they are. We're just fusing them away into six star epics. That's uh that's a lot. Yeah, yeah, I could feel that lag. I could feel that lag. All the fire units in this game just love me for some reason. Ooh, we got a double. We got a double. That is really cool. I'd love to get a Medjed. I, I don't have Medjed. I don't have Alvida. Okay, number one. How do you like my bones? Oh, okay. Arslan. That's not terrible. I don't have all of the Arslans yet. Um, Fahrenheit would be insane to get to. <laughs> okay. I swear, I swear she has uh, uh, improved rate, but I, I guess, I guess not. Um, so 1,500 more we're going to spend. And then we're going to start saving. That's uh, purple. Oh, no, it's not. Wow. Really good rates this time. Really good rates. I know you can just click through this, but um, pro tip, if you let this go, you get more legendaries. That's why I get so many. Okay. I'm not curious about what's on the register. I don't want to see your bone. I don't need any fire. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Three Arslans and two fulls. Did you know, as of as of a week ago, I had not gotten a single Arslan. As of a week ago, I literally did not have one Arslan. And look at this now. We have one, two, three, four, five Arslans. And I think I fused one away. Um, okay, okay. I have to go talk and chat for a little bit here. Can I please have something that isn't an Arslan? Oh, Josh versus getting an Arslan too. Let's go team. Okay. Three more. That was a lot of lag. Oh, GG. What rates? What rates this time? Thank you for blessing my account with this glorious RNG. Okay, only one. That's fine. Hit the purples up first. No! Come on! I'll take Arslan! <laughs> I will take Arslan! Oh my god, I can't believe that! Come on, give me one more before the guaranteed. Wow, this is insane! This is insane. The rates are just insane. Look how cool my shirt looks, by the way. With that animation behind it. Okay. We're like six five stars in. You know, 
in all my time summoning this like 9k gems i've spent this banner or this like rotation of three banners um i think i've only had one on banner unit like i did get trant but i got trant um from the uh the the random legendary so i'm not curious what's on the rest of the oh Oh, that's really good. I'm okay with a Freya. Okay with a Freya. He is super rare. Arslan is useless. Arslan should be removed from the game. Arslan is not useless. Arslan is really good. Um, okay, this is our last one before we get our guaranteed. Oh, that's a purple. That's a purple. That's too bad. Okay, so we did get one, kind of. Like, we just got infinity legendaries, uh, but now we get to get the pity, the pity Rachel. I will take that. Does it show you when you summon a pity Rachel? Yeah, there we go. Okay, um, I can't go in anymore. One of the feedbacks I've given to the devs is I think this initial one should be a four-star legendary. So hopefully if you see a change from this four-star epic to be a four-star legendary, that was me. So you can thank me when that happens. Um, anyways, thank you so much for watching. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. I cannot believe all the bones and Arslans I've summoned. Just absolutely ridiculous. Getting that Freya is insane, by the way. Puts me up to plus four on my Freya. Um, so pretty happy about the summoning session. Like I said, we didn't get Rachel until the pity, but we got insane rates. That was some of the best rates I've ever had. Thank you so much. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe as always. Hit that bell notification, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye, everybody.